let's look at some of the latest and most strange photos that the Perseverance rover recently took on Mars. Could this be a sign of Martian life or water? Well, welcome back to Futureland, your friendly and most reliable source of technology news, the latest gadgets, and anything related to the tech world. Despite just being on Mars for a year and a half, the Perseverance rover has already discovered something unexpected. The rover's findings are groundbreaking and add to the increasing amount of information suggesting the possibility of Martian life. The largest rover on Mars, Curiosity, is around 3 meters long and 900 kilograms in weight. The two Mars exploration rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, are both 1.6 meters and 174 kilograms. Contrary to earlier rovers, Curiosity's landing was not supported by airbags. Rather, because of its size, the largest of them all, it was lowered to the surface using three cords from the spacecraft's body or a sky crane. The most recent findings by the rover shocked scientists, saying that it was completely unpredictable, as it reveals the volcanic lava flows formed the bedrock that the vehicle has been traveling on since touchdown. At a non-profit organization meeting held by AGU in New Orleans, there was an astonishing discovery. Prior to Perseverance photography, they assumed the layered rocks were sedimentary. The rocks from Perseverance have also revealed that they had many interactions with water and that a few had organic compounds. These discoveries could have a larger impact on our knowledge of Mars and help researchers determine an exact timeline for what transpired in the Jezero Crater, the location of an ancient lake. Over the years, scientists have argued that if the rock in this crater is igneous rock, generated when lava flows cool or sedimentary rock made up of layers of debris deposited by an ancient river. Perseverance led to the capturing of this photograph of the Jezero Crater in April. Ancient stratified rocks can be found on the flat summit of Kodiak. Even a scientist working on the Perseverance project at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, Ken Farley, said that he was starting to think we would never find the answer. Everything changed when Perseverance started using a drill on the mechanical arm of rocks to dig away the surfaces. Crystals embedded in a sandstone provided indisputable evidence, according to Farley. With the help of a variety of cutting-edge tools, Perseverance is able to take pictures and examine scrape rocks to determine their composition and chemical content. One of these devices is the PIXL, the Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry. The scientists behind Perseverance utilized its equipment to examine a rock they called BRAC. Large olivine crystals that were encircled by pyroxene crystals have been found in November, proving that rock originated through volcanic lava flows. The team is currently trying to determine whether the rocks containing olivine originated from a cooling lake of lava or an underground chamber of lava that was eventually exposed by erosion. Farley said that it was absolutely unexpected and that they are still attempting to determine what this implies. While not believing that, that it was not the original crater floor. He thinks lava may have poured down into the crater, but the original crater floor lies below the rock they are now driving over, expecting that the original crater floor is much below the current level, based on the diameter of the crater. These samples can reveal details about the weather and ecosystem on Mars billions of years ago, together with the content of the water. Throughout history, these rocks interacted with water to generate new minerals. Perseverance so far has collected 4 rock samples, and there is still room for up to 37 more. By means of upcoming missions, these samples will be transported back to Earth in order to be thoroughly examined. Samples from the Jezero Crater's river delta may reveal the possibility that life would have ever thrived on Mars. Once they have been brought back to Earth, Volcanic rocks can indeed be traced extremely precisely. So, scientists may be able to establish more the exact details for structures and activities on Mars with the help of these new materials. According to Kelsey Moore, a geobiologist and postdoctoral scholar research associate in planetary science at the California Institute for Technology, it will tell us whether the water that was there in the past was potentially habitable. Organic compounds were also discovered in the rock by the rover's Sherlock sensor, which refers to scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals. 
organic compounds are not usually indicative of previous life activities or biosignatures. Organic molecules were discovered in the Gale Crater, located where the Curiosity rover landed on Mars in 2012. According to Luther Beagle, lead research on Sherlock at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, this will improve our knowledge of the conditions and evolution of the organic materials now they have been found. Even though an extensive investigation is necessary to determine how these chemical molecules formed, their existence gives scientists hope, since it suggests that such if there had once been life on Mars, signs of that life could have been preserved as well. Beagle stated that these samples will be used as a starting point for years of scientific research and development after they are returned to Earth. Additionally, Perseverance has been using ground-penetrating radar technology one of the first to be conducted on Mars. Bryony Horgan, an expedition scientist and associate professor of planetary science at Purdue University, explained the purpose of the rover mission is to dig into the bottom and examine the structure of rock below the rover. The experiment was conducted while the rover was moving across a ridgeline. Radar measurements revealed numerous downward tilting rock structures that extend beneath the surface from the ridgeline itself. In order to better understand Mars' past, scientists can use tools like RIMFACTS, the radar imager for Mars' subsurface experiment, to help them create a more precise geological map of the planet. Following a successful year in 2021, Perseverance will go onto the ancient river delta the following year, which promises to be even more exciting. Farley predicts that the rover will reach the delta in six to eight months. Scientists were intrigued by this fan-shaped structure for years. The rocks in the delta are probably sedimentary, trapping and preserving imported layers of silt from the river that once flowed into the lake in the crater. Additionally, the samples might show whether there are microfossils or organic compounds associated with life concealed inside the remains of the delta. In conclusion, astrobiology, particularly the hunt for signs of prehistoric microscopic organisms, is a key objective of Perseverance mission on Mars. The rover will study the climate and geological past of the planet and is the first expedition to gather and collect Martian rocks, shattered rock, or dust. It will open the door for human exploration on Mars. Following NASA and ESA missions, spacecraft would be dispatched to Mars to retrieve these sealed materials from the planet and bring them back to Earth for proper research. The NASA Moon to Mars Exploration Strategy, which includes the Artemis lunar missions to aid in preparing for manned exploration of Mars, includes the Mars 2020 Perseverance mission. And that is it for today's video. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more fascinating discoveries and updates on the latest and hot topics on technology here on Futureland. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.